What's going on, guys? And yo, I'm really excited to tell you guys that right now, today on Sunday, I am soft launching Nape Bauer Elevated. I've been talking about it for months, but it's now ready for you to check out. In this card right up here, you can hit that. It's going to take you to Nape Bauer Elevated. You can also Google NapeBauerElevated.com. It'll get you there. And at the end of the video, you can check out in the description. There's a link there. Check it out that way as well. BoxCon 2.0, Elevated Heavy Bag Hit, Virtual Shadow Boxing, Beginner Shadow Boxing, Savage Audio Hit, and many, many more sessions are now available for you at NapeBauerElevated.com. Crazy excited about this, guys. I've been working on this for a long time. I'm very happy with how it looks and the workouts involved with this website. Guys, in this video, we're working on the ultimate 20 minute heavy bag workout is session number nine. We're working on some higher tempo combinations, some medium range tempo combinations, but overall, you're gonna get an awesome sweat for about 24 minutes with a killer session. I'm gonna voice you over through the entire thing so you will not be confused. As always, all you gotta do is push play and drive through this awesome 20 minute heavy bag workout. So, gloves on, let's get ready for it guys. It's session number nine of the ultimate 20 minute heavy bag workout. Let's get after it. Let's get it done. Round number one, what you're working on is the right cross, right uppercut, left hook and cover. So that's a two, six, three cover, a right hand, right uppercut, left hook, then cover and just get after it. We're at a nice, strong, steady pace for about three minutes in this bad boy. So start moving, walk up to the heavy bag and let's go. Work that same combination. You can see it right now, the two, six, three, cover and move. So that first, those first two punches are that same side combo, the right hand, the right uppercut, and then you whip that left hook across that number three. So two, six, whip that left hook across. And remember on the right hand, put it straight down the pipe, that chin down, that right uppercut comes straight out after you bring the right hand back to your jaw. And then once you do that, whip that left hook around, pivoting that forward foot. All right, get after it, put in work. We have three minutes in round number one, working that two, six, three cover. And again, that cover is you basically blocking or preparing for a counter shot. Don't forget to breathe on every combination. Bring those hands back to the start position. You can also throw that left hook or that three to the body, right? So that two can be to the body, that right uppercut, bring that one right to the chest and the jaw on that left hook, that final punch before the cover. You can be digging into the body with that or straight up to the head, right? So change that up a little bit. Two, six, three, cover and then move after every combination. I mean, you can stay in the pocket a little bit and fire a couple of them off, a couple combos, of course. But then at the day, especially if you've been working sessions one through eight and you're hitting up number nine, you're moving well. So don't get lazy with that footwork. Work on strong angles, moving your head and putting in work. We're coming up to one minute, guys. So now you start to flow already in round number one. You're digging into the body with that left hook, one minute, or you're whipping it nicely up top. You want that right hand straight down the pipe and bring it straight back to the corner of the mouth before you throw that left hook. You should know that, but just like it is the same for me, I love to be reminded over and over to get it right. 40 seconds, crew. Stay with it. Remember, you can be working kind of medium range to long range on this. If you're working inside, which is all good, just make sure that right uppercut's a little shorter, a little sharper, and that left hook, it just comes around a little bit quicker, either to the head or to the body. 15 seconds, guys. You're crushing out round number one. This is kind of a medium tempo. We'll get into some faster, harder stuff as you go through. Round number one acts as your warm up, your feel out round, as always, as is usually what I did. A lot of my fights, but I also like to end them there too. All right, rest up guys for round number one. You have about 45 seconds here, and here you're throwing a two to five punch combinations. All right, two to five punch combinations. So you can throw a jab, cross, hook, uppercuts, whatever you want. Remember, if you've been doing these bad boys from session one to eight, you know what I'm saying. So it could be a left jab, right cross, left hook, right hook, 
left uppercut right uppercut don't forget defense and movement so it's up to you now so i want you to throw other a two punch three punch four punch or five punch combinations so you're in a freestyle but just think where are you most uncomfortable for this three minutes? Throwing two punch, three punch, four punch, five punch combinations and work on those, all right? Mix it up. Two to five punch combinations, jabs, crosses, hooks, uppercuts, defense, and move. Let's go. Now guys, obviously if, if you're really new to the boxing scene and you kind of want to see what they look like, you can watch the round a couple times and you can just see where, you know, the movement kind of comes in play where, you know, to stabilize and throw your hands where it goes from two punch to three punch to four punch combinations, you know, working top to bottom, bottom to top. Just keep an eye on where my hands are and how I'm slipping, ducking, blocking. You don't have to replicate it and i say often does not be perfect but it has to be right so the combos have to make sense remember in boxing you throw your jab 80 percent of the time so most of the time if you're setting up your combinations with the jab you're probably doing it all right Okay, so use your jab, use your crosses, set some punches up with those, and let your hands go. Two to five punch combinations. Breathe, rip, and have fun with it. Let's go. Halfway done. Don't forget footwork. As you're thinking about your boxing combinations, it does mean you should be standing still. It doesn't mean your hands should be down by your ass. If you're standing still, make sure you're in that strong defensive position. Your hands are up, but you can still see your target. You're pivoting off that front foot. You're digging into the heavy bag. You're ripping some serious combos. You're breathing with every shot. One minute. See there, as I, as I threw that combination, I pivoted and shifted through another combo with some strong stability and then I stayed in the pocket and threw a few more so just make sure you're working on those different ranges different angles there was a three three shots three shots with the left hook so I troubled up the left hook of course you can do that feints shifts fakes body head don't forget change your angles change your levels push the heavy bag to simulate movement dip and rip Rip and shift, rip and pivot. Slip then rip, right? Change it up, guys. Two to, punch, two to five punch combinations. That was a four jab combo. Showing off a little bit there. Showing some mad speed. Four, <laughs> not really. Three, two, one, and rest up. Guys, do me a favor. Look at the screen. Check out this very quick message. It's an important one. While you are resting, do me a favor, guys. A lot of you are not subscribers to my channel. Please, just do me a favor. While you're resting, walk over to your device if you're not a subscriber and push that sub button. Hit the notifications tab so that I get my channel spreading out across the globe. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos, but I appreciate it more if you could be a subscriber. Hit that notifications tab. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. I appreciate it. That's all I ask. If you're not, hit that sub button and uh, glove up and let's get back to work. All right, guys, in round number three, you're throwing a triple jab, cross left hook for 30 seconds. That's a one, one, two, three for 30 seconds. That's the only one you really have to know now. I mean, check out the screen. You can see what's coming up, but it's a triple jab, right hand, left hook for 30 seconds. That's coming up first, and then we'll quickly get in to your next combo. All right, one, one, two, three. You can see it on the screen. That's what we're doing. One, 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 two, three. Triple jab, right hand, left hook. This is all speed now, guys. Let your hands go fast with this one. This is your first kind of high tempo set or round. So again, it's a one, one, two, three. Power and speed, put them both together. So get after it. Four, three, two, one. You'll see the next combo coming up on your screen. It's a one block right, three body, Four, slip, slip, okay? One, block right, three body, 
four. Slip, slip, get after it. So now you're starting to pick up the combination a little bit. One block right. Throw a three to the body. That's a left hook to the body. A right hook. And then slip right, slip left. Or slip left, slip right. Whatever way you want. But just get after it. Strong jab. Make sure you block that counter punch coming at you with the block right. Rip a three to the body. A four. And just a right hook. Two slips. Move. And get after it again for another 20 seconds. Remember crew, once you go through this bad boy, really realistically twice, all these combos will seem much easier and you'll be able to put a little more effort into each one. But for now, give me four, three, two, one nice work. Coming up is the one, two, three pivot, one, two cover. Such a jab, cross, left hook, pivot, and then throw one, two cover. See, we're moving some awesome combos this round, guys. This session, I should say, right? I'm going to challenge you a little bit more. But man, is it going to change your game on the heavy bag. One, two, three, pivot. One, two, cover. One, two, three, pivot. One, two, cover. And then get after it again. You have a minute left with this combination. So nail it down. Be confident. Be fluid. Get after it. I want fast hands, though. One, two, three, pivot. One, two, cover. Keep going, crew. Come on. 40 seconds. Don't forget to breathe. Stay nice and strong on your legs. Move a lot. Snap the jab out to set up that 2-3. Make sure you get a strong pivot. You can pivot in tight to the heavy bag or on the outside to set up that 1-2. If you pivot in tight, you can throw the 1-2 from that in tight position or you can step back, throw the 1-2 and then cover and move. Stay with it, 10 seconds. Nice work, guys, that's what I like to see. You, know, you start to figure out those pivots. You only have to take quick looks at the screen to see it, and then you start to feel it. All right, rest. Round number four is a one, two, then freestyle, whatever you want. It's a jab cross, let your hands go, any combination you want. And I want in outside footwork, I want outside footwork. So what you're doing is you're throwing the jab cross, the one, two, then any combination and then work the outside of the ring. Think about that on the heavy bag, okay? So you have a nice wide circle going around the heavy bag and then set your position, set your feet, throw that one, two, rip a freestyle and go back to work. That's it, work that outside footwork the whole time, guys. You're working that outside footwork. Get that strong one, two to set everything up. Get that freestyle in, work the outside. So you are working around your opponent who's in the middle of the ring and you are working on the outside, right? So you're doing more work than your opponent because you're working with more real estate on the outside. But it's okay, your conditioning is going to allow you to do that. Just make sure you're constantly throwing punches, moving with that strong one-two setup, and then rip a strong freestyle. Let's go. Get after it. Defense. Different tempos on all those freestyles and one-two, but make sure that one-two is your setup punch for your freestyle punches. Change your tempos, change your speed, change your angles. Work the outside. Two minutes. Stay with it. I'm still here. I'm still here. I'm with you. Come on. I know you're feeling it though. So I'm just letting you put in work. With your pivots, you can throw a punch off of the pivot. You can think about throwing a punch to set up the pivot, right? You can pivot off a left hook. 
You can pivot off a straight right hand. You can pivot off an uppercut. You can slip and pivot. You can duck and pivot. Forty seconds, guys. Less than thirty. Keep putting in the work. You're good. Working outside. Freestyle punches, whatever you want. Ten seconds. So now I'm working at that moderate tempo or that medium tempo and then I just light up with a couple hard shots to finish the round. And time, awesome work. All right guys, in round number five, nice work on round number four. What we're doing here, you can see there's a push pivot. So there's a lot of pivots in this session. You're gonna push the heavy bag, two hands pivot and then freestyle again. So what you're doing is you're pushing your opponent away from you, changing the direction or changing position and then throwing some combinations. And that's it. Just make sure your footwork, footwork is also dialed in. So push your opponent, meaning the heavy bag away from you, pivot off that, but stay in position. In other words, don't step out too far and then throw some combinations. That's it. If you have to see the first couple in action, check out the screen when the bell rings and you'll see me throw a couple and uh, get to work. All right, three minutes. Push, pivot, freestyle. Have fun with this one. This is a fun combo. Let's go. With this one crew, think more speed, all right? So as you push the bag and you pivot, you wanna be really fast with your hands as you change the position and you're in tight. So you don't wanna, you know, to, to have too many delays as you're staying inside close to the, your opponent. You want your hands to come out fast and then move and then attack again. Now, normally in a real fight position, you'd work your way in with a couple shots, right? Then get in there, then push your opponent away and pivot. But let's be honest, it's a heavy bag. It's not a real person. But if you understand the scenarios, it's going to make you work the heavy bag a little bit differently and just give you a little more of a, you know, a dialed in scenario to make you work a bit harder. Fast hands, strong footwork, good pivots. Stay nice and low while you're pivoting. Keep your hands up. Use the heavy bag. Momentum, so as you push it away, if it's coming towards you, pivot away from it. And then attack it as it's coming in. There you go, fast hands. Let the hands go, guys. Come on, don't, don't get lazy on me. 90 seconds. Guys, that's what make these, makes these workouts so fun because once you really get into it and you start to feel more confident, you know, when I'm pushing you through certain, giving you certain scenarios, it kind of makes more sense. And even if you've never been inside the, the, the ring, you can still imagine it. You know, the what if. Okay, this kind of makes it more sense, right? So if you're watching clips and listening to the voiceover, you can feel it a bit more as you just get better. So it just gives you more confidence. It allows you to move a bit better with a bit more clarity and fluidity. So, you know, if you don't catch everything that I'm telling you in the first couple workouts, it's all good. You'll always hear something new. 45 seconds. Most importantly, rip some combos, move around a little bit, improve your boxing and uh, get fit as hell. That's the idea, right? 35 seconds for round number five and then we're going to turn it up remember fast hands strong pivots keep your balance see your targets 15 
Nice work, ladies and gents. Coming up with this round, check out the screen. There's just a very short message, and I'll let you know what's going on for your final round. Nice work, guys. All right, so while you're resting, if you want a free nutrition plan, if you head over to NaparElevated.com, you'll see a newsletter sign up. Sign up there, and I will send you my nutrition plan, guys. No questions asked. It's dialed in. I use it myself. It's based on a certain amount of carbohydrates, proteins, and fat, and there's amazing recipes with this nutrition plan. NaparElevated.com. Sign up, and I will send you that plan. No questions asked. All right, guys, now I'll get back to work. All right, crew, here we go. Round number six this is where we start to put in those fast, high-tempoed, bad boy combinations to burn out strong like we always do. You have two jumps, three punches. So again, freestyle, whatever you want. Get up in the air, two punches. You're going to push the heavy bag, throw four punches, and then five power shots and step. But I'll tell you about those right before it happens. First up is two jumps, three punches. I want you to get up in the air if you can if your knees are sore, just don't jump quite as high, but still move. Use your ankles if you have to, all right? Let's get after it. Two jumps, three punches. Two jumps, three punches. Go. Non-stop. Work that heavy bag. If it's coming in towards you, stop it. Find the rhythm. Any three punches you want, but make sure they're power shots. This is it, guys. Final round of the championship fight. Hold nothing back. As you're jumping, keep your hands up above your chest. Nice work, crew. Yeah, your heart rate's already elevated, right? Feeling your legs give out a little bit. You never realized you worked your legs so hard. Keep going. Use your ankles, use your hips, use your core. Keep your eyes on the target. Nice, good, coming up. Four, push the heavy bag and then throw four punches. Your punches could be four straight, so a jab, cross, jab, cross. It could be four hooks, left hook, right hook, left hook, right hook, or it can be a mix of everything, all right? Push it, punch it, let's go. Push, punch, small steps between every combination. So push, four punches, small step. Push, four punches, small step. I'm talking two or three inches is enough. That's it, small change of direction. Push, four punches. Rest. All right guys, coming up is a push, six punches. So add in two more, push six punches. So we're just increasing the output. Push the heavy bag, six punches. Straight if you want, hooks if you want. I don't care, it doesn't matter, but dig into the heavy bag. Don't let the heavy bag collapse towards you. So when you're throwing those six punches, you're keeping the heavy bag at length. Don't let it come in towards you. There you go, hold it out. Rest. All right, guys, coming up. What you're going to do here is you're going to attack the body with five shots. Five shots. So hit it five powerful shots with a body attack and step. Step. Five power shots. Body. And step. Five power shots. Step. Five power shots. Body. Step. Attack the body. You're trying to break my body down so I drop my arms. That's the only way you're going to win this fight. That's the only way you're going to win this battle is five body shots to make me drop my arms, to take out my endurance, to take out my wind. That's the only way you're going to win this fight. So get after it. Keep working at it. Five body attack and step. There should be sweat flying off your face, your arms all over the heavy bag. Come on. See your target, work the body. Almost there, almost there. 
rest. Full body attack now, guys. Whatever you want nonstop. Ready? Go. Right here is where you finish. Full body attack. Punches and bunches. As many combinations you can throw in the next little bit. Non-stop, change your angle, stepping, shifting, ducking, blocking, full out attack. Come on guys, we're almost home. Full body attack, full body attack. Almost there. Three, two, one, and time. Awesome workout crew. Awesome workout, guys. I hope you loved it as much as I did creating it. I know I'll sweat my ass off when I got it done. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave me a comment. If you want that free nutrition plan, check out NateBarElevated.com. You can Google it, sign up for my newsletter, and I'll send it to you directly, all right? If you want to see more workouts just like this one, like session number 10, it's coming to you soon. Make sure you check out the newest playlist. Napier, I'll update it right there if you want it from that way. And of course, guys, if you're not a subscriber, I want you to be. So check out that subscription button. Don't forget the notifications tab, and I'll make sure to provide you with the best workouts possible as a subscriber. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for training with me, and I'll see you for the next workout. Make sure you get a good recovery in, and uh, stay strong, stay fit, and I'll see you for the next session.